A 20 hour long chess game? My brain can't focus on one reel for more than 20 seconds. But Ivan Nikolic and Goran Arsovic are about to blow your mind. Ivan Nikolic of Yugoslavia and Goran Arskovic of Serbia were renowned chess players with an unbeatable focus. In 1989, when they had the chance to compete at the World Junior Chess Championship in the Philippines, they were determined to put their best foot forward. Oh, sorry, their best pawn forward. And so it began. Opening with the Queen's pawn, Ivan was all set to win, but Goran was no beginner here. Mapping out the next 15 to 20 moves, he wasn't going to let Ivan take this one away. The game went on for hours, but both of their caution and strategy didn't let the board turn into anyone's favor. It took a whole 269 moves and four days to end the game. Wondering who finally won? Get ready to be shocked, because it was no one. Yes, the game was declared a draw. After all, they were too smart to let the other one win. The game reached a point where no capture was made and no pawn was moved in the previous 50 moves. And this brings the game to the 50-50 move rule. And so there was no choice but to declare a draw. Speaking of junior championships, can you believe that the youngest grandmaster of chess is just 12 years old? Say hi to Abhimanyu Mishra, the youngest grandmaster of all time. At just 12 years old, he broke chess records standing from times before he was even born. And believe it or not, but this wasn't even the first record he set. When he was just 7 years old, he was titled the youngest expert, then the youngest national master when he turned 9 years old, and then the youngest international master when he was 10 years old. This kid is really on fire. Okay, wait a minute. Abhimanyu Mishra was breaking records from when he was just 7 years old. When did he even start playing chess? Abhimanyu's father introduced him to chess when he was two and a half years old and he started playing tournaments at the age of five. Some babies are still learning to talk at the age of two and Abhimanyu is a baby playing chess. But all this success doesn't come easy, especially at such a young age. Abhimanyu would practice on an average of 7 to 8 hours every day and take it up to 10 to 12 hours when he had to prepare for record-breaking competitions. Like all good things in life, he knew that becoming the youngest grandmaster would require him to give his all and work hard like never before. He continues to aim and build more great records and become a world champion soon. Well, all the best Abhimanyu. I'm definitely rooting for you. All this talk about chess and using your brain has me tired. Wouldn't it be cool if chess were a physical sport too? Well, prepare to have your mind blown because chess boxing is entering the conversation. The mashup of the sport boxing and the strategy game chess is called chess boxing. Yes, I too was shocked as you are right now. The game involves alternating rounds of fast chess and boxing until one player knocks the other or checkmates the other. All other typical rules of penalties and time limits are applicable as well. The first chess boxing competition was in 2003 in Berlin and since then international organizations like the Chess Boxing Global have been set up. Championships have been conducted and spectators are only growing. So yeah, it's a legitimate sport. I'm not making this up. Speaking of making up things, something else that'll sound fake to you is people scatter ashes of dead humans all over Disneyland. Don't believe me? Check out this next video and I'll meet you playing chess at Disneyland. Subscribe now to Behind the Date and join us as we unravel more mysteries and stories behind each special day. Off to Disneyland.